Okay, so front main seal is off. Um, to take the Woodruff key out, all I did was I just used a pair of wire cutters, actually. It's a, something I saw. And I just put it right on there. And I just pulled it up and it popped right out. So that was easy enough. Got the seal out. Um, took the O-ring off the oil pump sleeve. And my hopes were dashed. So my hope was, since it looked like the seals had all been replaced and I didn't order one, that the sleeve would be okay. But look at that groove that's worn. So I don't doubt that 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 this was that this was leaking. And it's a pretty good groove. I mean, I could definitely catch my nail on that. So that's got to be replaced. So I will order that today as well. Um, I already ordered a new uh, O-ring for it. So uh, I will order this and get this in the mail. So hopefully it'll get here by this weekend. I was really hoping that it would uh, would be okay and that they had replaced it when they did the seals. But obviously they did not. So uh, that will be... Next. Okay, so the front main seal came out. And if you remember, it was bubbly over here. It was bubbly over here. And as you can see, it was messed up all the way back. Well, I found out why. So underneath here, and I've already actually done a little bit of work on it. Hang on. So under here, what ended up happening was, I think they jammed a screwdriver in to get the seal out. And when they did, they damaged the, the outer ring here. And it was pushed up a little bit. And then instead of doing anything about it, they just took the seal and put it in. And that's what scarred it. So what I did was I took a pick. And I just picked real gently. You know, I started right on when it caught and just picked out. Picked all that lip off and then just took some 220 sandpaper and very lightly sanded it smooth. And now you don't really feel the... You don't feel any kind of lip there so it should seat and I think I'm gonna be okay because it's right at the edge here it doesn't go all the way back in so I think I'm gonna be okay but I think that's what it is is that they just messed it up and didn't fix it so there you go okay so I cleaned up the uh crankshaft pulley the accessory and everything so when I cleaned this up when I took it off there was just a thick coat of oil all over the back of this stuff I mean you just wiped it and it just was it was it was pretty thick so obviously that seal was was leaking pretty good so I am glad that I decided to change that so yep just clean that up a little bit and we'll start trying to get that back on the car too so I just wanted to do a quick video here, side by side. Um, I'm glad I decided to change the water pump. Uh, reason being is, you can see how easy that spins, right? This. Not so easy. So I'm thinking that that was either seized or getting really close to being seized or something. Because I can't, I can barely turn that. And this one just spins. I mean, I can do it with two fingers. So, obviously that was getting ready to fail. So, glad I decided to change that. Alright, so I also decided to switch this out. This is the temperature sensor for the radiator. 
Um, <clears throat> I think this is the fan switches, is what this is. Um, so this then tells the fans to turn on. But um, once again, everything I've read and seen said if you're in there, I mean, this part's only a few bucks. And you've got all that torn apart, you might as well just replace this. So I have taken that out. I needed a crescent wrench to take that out because 19 millimeter is too small. 27 millimeter was too small. Um, so it's somewhere between a 27 and a 32. So I don't know exactly what it is. Um, but I didn't have a socket that was deep enough either to get over it. So, uh, I needed a crescent wrench to get it out, but that worked fine. It's no big deal. All right. So parts came in new fuel rail nut. So what I am going to try to do, I have seen that uh, when I test the fuel pressure in the car, and of course, you know, if something from AutoZone is not going to work, or these universal ones won't. So uh, I've seen that you can uh, drill this out and put a, uh, I think it was one eighth to a quarter inch on there that will then work with the universal fuel testers fuel pressure testers so that's what that is uh, looks like we got our hoses for our cooling system my new oil pump sleeve o-ring for it. Another cooling hose. Another cooling hose. Uh, oh, these are the two washers for my suspension. That, I'm assuming, is the nut for the suspension. And what I'm talking about is this that I had to have replaced. Because this is the one that, if you remember, I uh, that bolt seized inside there. So I got a, a used one off of DC. Um, they had the bolt, uh, but not, not the washers or the nut. So I had to order those from somewhere else. Oh, here's my fan switch. Uh, another cooling hose. Washers. I'm going to have to look to see what those washers were for. I don't remember. Um, I'll have to look for that one as well. So there's three of those. Thinking. Oh, those are my fan shroud bolts. That's what those are. That's what those are. And then here is the question of the day. I'm wondering if they sent me the correct one. Let's see. I don't think they did. I think it's the wrong one. And it is. See how much smaller it is? the 52 that's why i ordered another one from somewhere else because they had this listed as 83 and it is not so i'm gonna have to contact them and find out what to do about getting this back to them and just getting a refund so uh yep we'll have to do that so and uh i think i think That is it. So, parts are in. So, I think tomorrow we're going to try to get the front end put back together. And then we can uh, try starting it up, let it run, let it get the temperature. I'll just put the gauges back in. You know, the dash will just hook them back up. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think that'll be awesome. I do, I do, I do. So, here we go. 
Well, I just uh, opened up the oil pump sleeve and it is the wrong one also. So this, I actually, I called them and I said, this is what I need. And that's not the right one. So I don't know what this is for because that doesn't match that. All right, so I just took measurements. Measurements are all the same. Outside diameter, length, inside diameter. Um, and also put it out on a couple of the boards. And apparently this is common. Uh, apparently that is the replacement for that oil pump sleeve. So it looks like I will be able to get it put in uh, this weekend. So that makes me feel better. Um, so I think we are uh, good to go.